Hey guys, it's Andrew, and recently a lot of YouTubers have been making these very deep and artistic videos where they write a letter to their younger self, and then they read it while retrospective b-roll plays. So I thought I would hop on that bandwagon. I decided to write a letter to my fetus self, so enjoy. I hope this inspires you. Dear fetus me, right now you're in mom's uterus, or maybe some other woman's uterus. Who knows? You might be adopted. My parents have never said I was adopted, but they also have never said I wasn't adopted, so the conspiracy is truly up for debate. Anyways, one day soon, you're going to be born into this beautiful, yet terrible, awful, horrendous, dreadful, appalling, horrific, and miserable world. Did you know racism and sexism still exist in 2015? It's pretty wild. One day, you're going to sell your soul to the devil. That day is also your seventh birthday. Happy early birthday. Spoiler alert, you finally got that present you really wanted. Overall, that was a great day in your life. Moving forward, you're going to go into middle school. At this time in your life, you're going to be really fat and really sad. Like seriously, so fat and so sad. Like damn, you are so sad and so fat. I have no advice for you. Just wanted to give you a heads up. Actually, I do have some advice to get you through the hard times though, and that's that I think being a huge, vain, egotistical ass can be really healthy in moderation. Like, in 8th grade, if you start spending all of your time talking about how skinny and beautiful you are to other people instead of spending your time calculating your BMI and crying, you'll forget how sad you truly are. Just like, what's that old saying? Uh, oh right, fake it till you drake it. By that, I think they just mean become drake. All of your problems would probably go away if that happened, so that's like pretty good advice. One day, you're going to find out you really love cereal. Then, one day you're going to find out cereal has a lot of carbs and it's not healthy to eat 10 bowls a day. That's going to be a hard day for you. But don't worry, you'll get through it. And in the end, you'll be a stronger person. While you were struggling that day, you consulted your good friend Britney Spears for advice and she was inspired by you to write the hit song, Stronger. Speaking about songs and music, one day you're going to release a mixtape on SoundCloud under the stage name and Rizzle. It was a terrible idea and you should delete it from the internet the first chance you get. Same for that nightgown picture on Tumblr. Really not that funny and honestly just annoying two years later. Overall, your teen years are going to be a really medium time. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll smile, you'll frown, you'll make friends, those friends will stab you in the back. In return, you'll stab them in the back. Literally, like, to death. You'll get arrested on multiple occasions for murder. You'll spend a lot of time in jail, where naturally you'll experiment with your sexuality, but eventually you get out and pitch your life story to Netflix as what's now the award-winning hit show, Orange is the New Black. So, it all works out in the end. Sincerely, me. Slash us. Whatever. Have a nice birth.